What's up guys, welcome back to Fisher Hex. My name is Travis. In this video, I'm going to be removing my three tanks from the quarantine system, acclimating them and getting them into the 300 gallon build. Now in this video, I'm gonna give you guys a two day update on those tanks, as well as talk about some tank aggression and some ways that you can deal with it in your own tank. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so the three tanks that I'll be introducing are a flame fin, a scopus and a powder blue. Now, uh, the powder blue was donated to me from Scott at Roscoe's Reef. Uh, pretty much the tank just got too big, outgrew its current system, and with all the room that I have here in the 300 gallon, it's just going to work out really well for this fish. Now, when it comes to acclimating from the quarantine to the 300, it's pretty simple. I'm just going to go ahead and take a 5 gallon bucket, pull out some water from the current system, and then drip acclimate them for about 45 minutes from the 300 gallon. Now, because I keep both systems relatively close with salinity and temperature, it's really not going to be that much of a jump or any kind of stress from one tank to the other. Now, once that 45 minute period is taken care of, I'm just going to go ahead and lift them up, get them into the 300 and kind of see how the fish react. And this is really the stressful part for any kind of uh, introduction of any fish in a tank when you already currently have aggressive fish in there is that first a couple fish that you put in just kind of how everybody reacts and you guys can see that everyone kind of goes who who's this new guy in here and then they start chasing around i was waiting for them to fight but they actually never did and that's really what surprised me now i can safely say after two days that the powder blue is a model citizen at least up to this point he is definitely not aggressive towards any other fish in the tank and he's not getting picked on by anyone and i think that really has to do with his size since he is now the biggest fish in this tank uh, there was a small bit within the first 30 minutes with him in the sailfin because the sailfin was the biggest up to that point but uh, now they just kind of swim together there's no issues whatsoever but when it comes to the scopus tang and the flame fin there's definitely aggression between the yellow tang the sailfin tang and the yellow eye coal tang now they are getting beat up a little bit nothing that's going to kill them it's it's pretty normal tang aggression uh, it's not like they're getting held in the corner corner like some other fishing really getting beat up until they die it's nothing like that but uh now that you guys have kind of seen them being introduced to the tank and swim around a little bit uh, let me go ahead and get into some detail on kind of how i've dealt with the tang aggression up to this point and what i continue to do when i add more fish to this tank now, when it comes to introducing new tanks to a current system that is already housing several of them, there's a few things that you should uh, consider before doing that. Uh, when you purchase the tank, make sure it's around the same size as the fish you currently have, if not bigger. As you guys can see with the powder blue, there was no issues because he is the bigger one. But uh, I will say that having them around the same size or a little bit bigger will definitely cut down on the aggression in the tank. Another thing you can do is avoid fish with the same facial structures. Uh, with the Scopus tang and the yellow tang, yes, they look exactly the same. That's where that aggression is coming from. But with the 300 gallon tank, I anticipate that aggression to go away with all the room they have to swim. But if you want to avoid it, definitely go with like a blue hippo tang and a yellow tang. Again, because they do not look the same. And the only aggression they have will be normal tang aggression. Uh, that's just going to be there regardless of what they look like. Now, a little tip along the lines of dealing with the facial structure is to put a mirror on the side of your tank. Now, I like to do this when I add, again, multiple fish with the same facial structure to a tank, maybe smaller than mine. I like to put a mirror close to the side of the tank. That way, the more aggressive of the bunch will actually attack himself more than anything in the mirror. And it's kind of weird to look at where they're just kind of running their face into the tank. But it's uh, something that you can do to kind of spread up that aggression a little bit more and cut down on one fish beating beat up and potentially dying because of the stress. Now, my number one tip for dealing with tang aggression is to simply feed the tank more often. Now, you guys know that I like to feed the tank usually only once per day, but I make the exception when adding more fish, particularly tangs to a new tank. Now, what I like to do is go ahead and feed them some fish food earlier in the morning when the lights come on and then go ahead and feed them every couple hours a little bit of nori. Now, on top of that, I'll go ahead and give them just a tiny bit more of fish food right before the lights go off to kind of allow them to chill out before the nighttime. And that's about it. I'll go ahead and do that for the first couple weeks, and then they'll go back to their once per day just to keep an eye on the nutrients and to keep the tank uh, running stable like it has been. Now, be ready to deal with excess nutrients with all the extra food, as well as the extra waste from having the additional fish in the tank. So either keep an eye on your nutrient levels, bump up your skimmer, or maybe do an additional water change to deal with those excess nutrients. Now, I am pretty happy with the transition up to this point. Now, a little bit of aggression is something that I can deal with. It is heartbreaking to a certain extent watching a fish that you put through quarantine and cared about for even 30 days just to see them get beat up a little bit in the main display. But I know that they are alive today. They seem to be doing better every single day that they're in the tank, and that's really that all that matters at this point. 
Now when it comes to adding additional tanks to the system, I plan on adding four more. They will be a clown, a naso, a blue hippo, and an Achilles tang. That will pretty much be uh, the rest of the tangs that I add. Now there might be an oddball here and there that I might consider later down the road, but for right now those are my four main ones that I plan on adding. Now when it comes to other fish, there's going to be some brackish schooling fish, which you guys will see on my weekly update video or rambling video that will be out probably Friday. But I do have plans for about 20 or 30 smaller fish that I want to get into this system within the next few months. So stay tuned for those videos and I'll show you guys exactly how I get them through a quarantine and again into the 300 gallon. Well guys, that's about it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and found it to be somewhat entertaining. Now if you have any questions about this setup, please put it in the comment section below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Now don't forget to check out fishofhex.com for coral sales, t-shirt sales, or if you need help with a build or a one-on-one -on -one conversation, definitely go through my website because that's the best way to get a hold of me. All right, now until next time, I'll see you later. Peace.